So I'm with the Center for Women and in Information Technology, and we're based at uh, the University of Maryland, Baltimore County. And I'm here because uh, we've been doing a lot of global uh, outreach, and um, we happen to be at the university. We do things at the local level, but we do a lot of international work too. So. Um, just promoting, advocating for women and gender issues at this high level of policy making here and um, making sure that women's considerations are taken into account and um, kind of self-promoting our own events that are coming up. We have an event in, um, next week in Paris and to bring together some of these international um, thinkers around gender and IT and um, wanted to make people aware of that. Well, um, it's hugely important just for diversity factor. Um, you know, if if I, it, lots of different issues. But you know, on the one hand, um, technology is being developed. If women's use of technology and how women um, use it—I mean, practically pick up a camera and use it, or uh, what they're using it for, um, the kind of information they can gain from it—can't can't always be. Um, their points aren't always received uh, or men, you know, men just can't describe what women need in their technology. So there's that. Um, and it's different at different levels. I mean, at, in the United States, at the very developed level, um, we're having a huge shortage of women in IT. And some developed countries like India and Eastern European countries aren't having as much of a problem. Um, and then developing countries huge problem because they're just coming in at the ground level and you need to make sure that women aren't excluded from the internet but it's not even really the internet there you know all of the ICTs that they use phones and radios and all of those forms of communication um, because they could be bowled right over yeah well the average woman, I mean, there are women's advocacy groups, women's groups um, that are working in nonprofits uh, or non government organizations. Um, so we hear a lot through them, um, but there are a lot of women involved at the United Nations level, at the European Commission level, at those kinds of levels where it's just that, you know, voices need to be heard. Um, so I don't know if that answers your question, oh, but. Good. I think that it'll be very inclusive. Um, I know we're here talking about internet governance today, um, but I think it's important to have a diversity of perspectives and when we're considering how we're going to govern the internet, um, how we're going to bring access to people in remote areas, um, you know, what people's rights are, and certainly women's rights. I mean, in a lot of countries, you're just fighting for women's rights in general. So um, I would hope that it would be inclusive and diverse and uh, take into account everyone's perspectives. For the internet, well ICTs in general, uh, I know at our local level a big fear is that we're just going to have a shortage of um, people involved in ICT or IT um, in general, women and men. So. Uh, I guess the biggest fear is that a lot of countries are just going to lose their competitive edge if they don't involve all their people.